guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarita and uh, this background is my college. Where is he? I mean, I like my college campus. And uh, here it is, Sukriti. <laughs> Okay, so today's video is something different. I asked you in my last post that whether you would want to see how I edit my videos and there were a lot of comments who were appreciating my picture and I thought okay, I should do that. And so yeah, so today I'll be showing you that how I edit my pictures on my phone. This is my phone and I'm using my friend's phone right now and even her phone's quality is so good as you can see. Okay, so let's get started with the video. This is my phone, Lenovo K6 Power, which is a little... No, it's so, so much damaged. Actually, I, I, I damaged my phone just right on the second day. Anyway, so this is uh, my wallpaper. There's one kitty and it's 5.17 p.m. Okay, so... I'm not going to show you my password. Well, so this is how my phone looks and I edit my photos on an app which is called Lightroom CC. Uh, so this is the Lightroom app and you go there and the photo shoot Lightroom. And as you open the app, uh, you will see this kind of folders where it is all photos and you can create an album of your own which I have created as mine. So click in there and outdoor shoot. And you can add photos from uh, this button over here where you can add the photos so click here files and uh, this is the photo which i want to edit in front of you guys so let's import this photo and where is it okay actually there's some problem with the date anyway so as you can see this is the photo that uh, i have to edit so first of all what i do is uh, obviously and to rotate it and I usually crop it to 4 by 5 this is because Instagram supports this 4 by 5 um, whatever the size is so I crop to that first and uh, then after that I go to this uh, part which is called light and in this I just um, adjust the basic things so I like to keep simple stuff so I usually lower the highlights because I don't know, I, I, I like to keep it even, so I lower the highlights. I just keep on playing around with the keys, I mean you can just see how you want it and brighten it. When you want to, I mean see, it, it, this black means you are brightening the black, so it has a lot of effects on my face as you can see. So this is just usually to, I mean, lower down the blackness, the shadows on my face. So yeah, the basic things that I do and sometimes I even lower down the exposure just depending on the photo and the themes and all. And the next I do is the color balancing. So I usually don't use this because I don't know, this just has some really drastic effects and I don't want that. I just want to keep it simple so I go into the mix part and uh, as you can see so we'll just, I like to do it a bit kind of like this. So uh, as you can see my lip color is changing from here to here so I like to keep it a bit uh, colory, colorful so this is what I do. And this is uh, usually what uh, works on my skin, you can see the difference but I like to keep it a bit reddish and uh, luminance is just to like brighten it up the color that I want for my skin. and. A uh, little bit, not much, just little. You don't want to be too extra, just whatever. And this, this is for the yellow color. Uh, so you will see a very drastic difference in here as well. I mean, I like to use this a lot. See, so this is basically actually this photo was taken uh, during. I mean, it was the sunset time, so you can see the sun rays over there, sunlight and the shadows so th that is making the difference and uh, yeah luminance you can do as you like but i like to be i mean i like to keep it so that it looks good and this is i think what i had done in my last hmm, yeah and this is the green part green color uh, so there's not much green over here so i just do whatever i like it 
I like this part and blue even was there so yeah this part I like the I like to adjust blue a lot because it really I mean it enhances my video my photo sorry so yeah this is purple this from this side it goes purple and this side it goes blue so I like to usually keep it bluish and a little dark because yeah that's how it looks good and uh, uh, yeah this is what the blue should be for me and a little bit of the light blue yep and this is a purple my shirt i have kind of purple over here so i'll just do that not much just a little bit and this you can see that pink color is over here so it will really change it so yeah a bit darker yeah i think that a little bit of this i'll do on my so after you're done with this you can see actually see that how your before photo and the after photo has a lot of difference can you just focus you can see this is after photo and this is before photo and uh, there's one more option that you can clarify uh, not much actually okay let the bike go Cool. So uh, in this part, you can uh, adjust the clarity of your photo. Yep. And the haze will just not much. Just according to what you like. And uh, yep, that's pretty much what I do. This is the before photo, and this is the after photo. Wait, I need to adjust this part a little bit because it's too yellow. So this is the edited photo and not much difference but I think it looks cool right so yeah that's the photo that I edited and uh, you can save it from here to save to device saved okay and now you can search it on your gallery and uh, you will find a folder which will say Adobe Lightroom and then you can have you can have a look at it so, yeah that's it for this video and if you like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down below what you like and uh, uh, just whatever <laughs> comment down anything and uh, most importantly subscribe my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon just the next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video and shout out to my friend for her phone and uh, this is my college and if you want to ever you know have a my college tour you can comment down that and yeah I'll see you next time bye